ah, ah, ah. it's been a while it's been a while ah mr 90 plus hapa kama kawa this is football ke fans tv kama kawa ini show yetu ya sato na nakuanga hapa na a few of my panel lists but today i think i'll only be joined by um, bakaya na kuanga behind the scene the guy of course hezi kwa behind the scene na hiyo kichwa lazima <laughs> lazima tokea hapa hivi so anyway bakaya good good uh, is it afternoon it's it's afternoon no no not yet it's still morning ah <laughs> bado ni morning bado ni morning yes, yes. so how are you still in the, in the morning hours no i'm good i'm good uh while, it's, it's been a while so no jo shida ni we have a lot going on a lot of uh, issues on the side but uh, yeah. i think football wise of course uh, uh we couldn't be more proud of uh, football k and the oh. game in general in the country naangalia vile vitu zinaenda things are picking up if we see what's happening we can always say that uh, we are, we are lucky to be part of uh, things that are happening the league ndio hiyo imeshika kushika Madness. Good times, it's good times. I think anybody who is watching football right now I can see that we to see Ibivi. Although I saw yeah, it, but you know well, you 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 know Kenya Power has messed us up. The guys last weekend were to go live, then some ridiculous power blackout happened, and then I couldn't go live because I hadn't if I had foreseen that I would have been out of location. Then the other weekend you disappeared for a wedding. Yes. I had a small meeting a friend of mine was getting married. So yes, I haven't been I haven't been in this show for small the last week. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Small meeting. Ah ikwa yangu bro, ikwa yangu, si yangu. Okay. Yeah, I'm still fine. We'll I'm still fly, flying solo. <laughs> so anyway, yes, uh kwa hapa game week 22 yeah, anyway. Na venye umesema maze league ni tight. League ni tight sana. As in ukiangalia standings, but as much as ni tight, yes. I ni tight kutokoza relegation. Toka number 18 all the way to number tuseme hata at least 12. Unaona? Because number 18 to number 12 say number 12 is mura sales mm-hmm. number 18 mm-hmm. of course is nzo ya sugar currently 16 points huh? muranga sales wako 8 points i wako 24 points so wako juu yao na 8 points now we are heading to game with 22 so assuming or let's not even count game 22 we are game 20, 21 so tumebaki na 13 13 games si ndio that makes 34 games in the season So now 13 games that is a possible 39 points ndio tuseme So uh, si ati kuna watu wako safe always the man ati ati muranga sisi wako safe hata ulinzi hata ulinzi at number 10 number 11 you know 25 points So yes it, it is tight ni ku tight sana bro ni ku tight sana No I think maybe let me just share the league table here to put to perspective what you say uh wait, wait, wait. so while you you're doing it let me let me need the fixtures because today ah yes ndio hiyo hapo yeah so nilitaka tutackle unajua tumezoeanga sana tukianza na table tunaanza number 1 so nilikuwa nataka tuangalie half we tuone venye half Yeah. Toka chini. Yeah. So we look at the bottom. A few minutes to, to concentrate on. Yes. Yes. Okay. So Come let's see. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do this. Yeah. So that there it is. There it is. Think uh, well balanced. Yes. Yes. That's half of the term. As I was saying. My as I was saying. I don't think even Ulinzi at this point can comfortably say they have kept them there. because they they are sitting at 11 with them to Nzoia Sugar ni 9 points peke yake 9 points is just games 
three games. So you're saying if Nzoia win the next three matches consecutively, they already walk into a point of safety. Assuming, for example, Ulinzi at number 11 uh, lose those three games. Washafikia Ulinzi. So, say that you are number 11 and you are switch position, that's not how the table works. But, 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 but Lamo, Lamo, look at it this way. Which teams do you think will go down at this rate? Or who will make the miraculous escape? Honestly, I would want to say uh, Shabana. Shabana. I feel Shabana will drop uh, one because there is too much pressure for them. And at this uh, level of the league, at this time of the league, Zidane, you have your experience to try and uh, stabilize. Well, well, just try and get the one, one point, one point a game, one point a game, and win here and there. I know Pamzo. Pamzo kona, he has vast experience. Vast experience. They have like players like Akina Mukamula Pale when he's La La much is the story. I mean, which games will Shabana win I, I, to be I safe? Don't see how, I don't see how they win. Ata kama kuna three thirteen games left. Sioni bro. Sioni. Because if if they wange kuwali accumulate a, a few wins at the beginning of the season, inge was idea at some point. But Sioni. I don't see how. Nzoya Sugar, I mean, on survive. I feel Nzoya Sugar will survive. Uh, and Nzoya have signed uh, Shakawa and uh, Musamali yes. to uh -huh. their ranks. Yeah. Now, you see the, their win versus Bitco the other time. I know I know that it, it's in a Zakwani fluke or Nini, but these are teams that can pull no, no. such results. No, no, no. Fluke so or the just... They've beaten KCB, they've beaten yeah. Bitco. On the road, yeah. So, Nitimine is a part of wins. You can trust them to get a few Amarea wins like that. I don't see how Shabana gets such wins, you know. I don't see how in those 13 games. Apata Moroni Youth meets Soka Parker this weekend. How crucial is this game? Mimi, Mimi, to know. Mimi, honestly, I've never been a fan of. Whether you want to call them or on youth or Zito or whatever, in fact, Kunavene, I they have been surviving in the league for the past three seasons over playoffs. Maybe because I'm not a fan of the playoffs. I feel your playoff see if it's not fair to see the teams in a panda. Because for example, number 16 and end up choose a playoff. You had 34 games to to try and survive the league. Now to not have your survival on only two fixtures, it is not fair. So maybe you saying that looks like doping. Director, kuna playoffs. You only come doping. More on you. It's about time. Yeah, it is. It is, and it's not fair to the teams in Atoka lower leagues. It is not. Okay. So come on, Ashuka, Ashuka, direct. Scrap off your playoffs. Ibaki, Ibaki, team. Playoff Ibakitini teams in a panda packet for those teams that want to come to the top. Otherwise, Zenyez in Ashuka You want 34 games to uh, prove that you are you are, you are viable to be at the top. Then to Kujak anyway, Samarais. Let's, just... let's yes? go to the fixtures. Enough of the drama now. Let's go to <laughs> the politics. Yes. Today's fixtures anyway. for surrenders, Ulinzi Stars, Nzoya Sugar, Bandari. Murangasil, Bitco, City Stars, Gormaya, and Police versus Shabana. Spot on predictions. We go starting with you. Ah, for me, Posta versus Ulinzi Pale Police. I feel, I feel this will be a draw. A uh, one one or a nil nil draw. Uh, Posta Rangers have been just Posta Rangers. Ile moto ni kwanai miisha lafu. Of course, they lost one of their crucial player. They have. But again, I feel they will draw. Uh, Ulinzi, kuna venye more uh, more kichikaza again. But I feel uh, they will probably try and build up on the. I won't call it momentum after the draw versus uh, God. But Sioni waki lose game. I just don't see how they lose this game. So I'll go for one one. Alafu Muranga sales Bitco. Uh, I feel uh, Bitco. 
Bitco will have the edge in this game. Probably one nil for Bitco or one one from that game. Nzoya versus Bandari. This game in the corner, my bow, mingi by the Kama Kama Tatu, a man. So in the two one for Nzoya Sugar, two one. And love for police, Shabana. I in a comfortable two nil win for police. Kuna venye babu, babu, babu knows how to win professionally, like clean sheets here and there, minimize chances for the opponent. So I don't see how Shabana watafanya hii waneno. 2-0 for police pale sako. Then City Stars, hii ni ngumu sana. Gore, Gore, Gore wamekuwa na, uh, in, in the last two games, in, in the last two games, after our people na police, wajashinda game. So do I feel like they will bounce back? Considering by the, the reverse fixture, this was the this was Gore's biggest win. Well, she does four one, I think. Yes, well, she does four one. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, honestly, I want Gore to lose because as in no mekuja sana, but I don't see how Machakos Kidogo mekuwa gasta diao. So I see them uh, uh, forcing a one a two one win. I know Muyoti's boys are making fiti because after washa we make confirm signature. Yeah, ule ule wow. I know the uyo the Japanese guy Yuko. He he gave he only provide us since the last game. Alafu ni Leona ni nani amerudi? Temesi. But Zui Kat is a game. I it is too early for him after a very long layoff. So anyway, any game at two one, God will win two one. Sadly for me. Sijuika ni achi hapo, mani malize pia za Saturday. Yeah, we have the Sunday fixtures. I think for, I'll also go through mine as a predictions. For Sarangers, Ulinzi Stars, I had predicted a draw, but I just think Posta will win this one narrowly, 1-0 or 2-1. Nzoya Sugar, Bandari, that is likely to be a draw. Muranga Sale, Bitco, Muranga Sale win. City Stars, Gormaya, Gormaya win. 3-1. Police Shabana will be a humongous Shabana loss. 5-1. Hey. Bro, bro, what a 5, man. 5 is a lot. <laughs> what makes you think 5 is a lot? It's five one of lot, the most bro. porous defenses, man. As long as Tito scores, Mimi najua Tito kuna bao ya Tito yu game. Tito, Tito. We're joined by Anto. Anto. Kijana ya kwa ya mazafika matakos. Ah, game ni saa kumi. Kwa tu. Oh. Yeah. Anto, we are here on Saturday's predictions. Poster Rangers. Ulinzi Stars. But before we get to that, ukia kwa mekwati. Yeah. Poster Rangers, Ulinzi Stars, hiyo inakatu draw. Bro, unaulizo wiki yako imekua aje? Wiki yangu imekua, imekua tu sawa, hiko tu sawa, siyezi complain, imekua tu sawa. Na, hivo tu sakuna kitu ingine ya zasema, imekua sawa. Kwa tuwa gore, eh, usiposhi inda wiki inakua tu sawa. Wiki inakua ndepu. <laughs> Ime kwa ndefu bebe, ime kwa ndefu sana <laughs> Zao, mbatia prediction Mbatia prediction <laughs> So predictions zangu Posta, ulinzi Draw, ye na katu draw Ye ni game ingine ngumu sana But Kama kutakwa na wina Ni a one win loss for either of them But mostly ni a draw Maybe one one ama nil nil kika mkua bandari, nzoya bandari bandari walipigwa at home na city stars game ya mwisho nzoya walikuja na thika wakashpiga bidko 2-1 hiyo likuwa big surprise sayo wako home na kuna venye kuna some breath of fresh ya uko kwao sijasikia waki complain sana this time round lately Nika kuna, kuna vitu zenye zinafanyika huko. So, bado sioni bandari wakitoa points. Ata point ata mojo huko. Hiyo ni nzoya win. Comfortably. Muranga Seals versus Bitco. Eh, isha fika 100 and 
Some and five, how many days How many days before? <laughs> this... <laughs> so you, 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 I think um Nimona they are conceding a lot of goals this time round the uh, Muranga Seals. Na pia wakijaribu pia they are scoring. Wanaweza concede tatu na wafunge mbili. Ama wanaweza concede the three na wafunge hata hizo zote tatu. So he I game I think it's due to their bad record at home because I think they seem to be too open at home but I think they will welcome back Kapchanga and they are keeper last match against Lopez, they didn't have good players. So, 100 so, and something days must be one of the longest runs to be winless. I think the only team that comes close to this is uh, Ushuru. Ushuru, hey. they had such a long run in 2013. Hey. Ushuru, Ushuru, my guy. Hey, what a yes. way to announce your very own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, ni wait, 100 and you know, ni mingi 100 and yeah, ni and five. I think today will be for the fifth 100 and the fifth day. 100 and something days. What would happen to a team like FC Lopez and Gore if such a run happened? I, I, yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, 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 Sidani Kama, Sidani Kata. We mbakaya uneza fikiri ya kitu kaya yo. Miss Jai fikiri ya hivyo mbali. It can be a, a, a case of resignations galore. Eh. Hapo uneza kuambaza. One hundred and something days without this a win. Case, this case are winless in almost how many matches? Over ten matches. Yes. Ni, yes ni, ni, they, have, they, have, they have lost seven, drawn four. Yes. If I'm not wrong. Lost Kwa hizo 100 days. So, no, 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 That's 11 yes. matches. That's yes. So, uh, Bado Leo, no, no, I think Sidani Kama, they will bounce back. I think kuna shida tu kubwa yenye Bado wajui ni gani. I think the biggest mistake ni kufukuza wali acha their coach akaenda. Hiyo ndi ilikuwa the biggest mistake they did. Na wajai recover from that. So I think that run will still continue for another week. Because uh, after this week, kuna, I think a two week break. Because kuna Mozart Cup. So mm. it will continue. Itafika 100 and over 10 days. So, one week break. More week. Yes. So I think Ivo itaendelea. I see na, na on a bitco will win. Narrowly, one nil ama two one. Alafu Gore versus uh, Nairobi City Stars. In the last two fixtures to Mwafunga Baunane, and we have considered one. Uh, lately at Fungi Mabaumingi, but Nikiangalia head to head, yeah, there were last like eight games to Konahapahan. We have won six, lost one, drawn, I think one. Scored uh, 14, conceded 7. So, tukona hapa hand kwa hii game. Na, na wanabadi itaendelea. Leo tuna bounce back. Tuwa winning ways. Mohamed Bajaber will be back. Mohamed Bajaber will be back. Yes. No, they missed him against in, in Mombasa. We don't fear him. Acha Arudi. Umone vilu msa metense. I shot I don't fear him. Acha yeah, Rudy, really yeah. See, one thing I know that we don't concede goals. We have conceded 10 goals in 21 games. Is 21 games? Yes, so 21. we don't concede a lot of goals. So yo, Sioni Kama. Itakuwa big pressure to uh, Mohamed will be back. And we have our we have our we have our striker back to kona I think uh, everyone no nakosa many two attaches a game I think in Kadu Pekiake. But the rest kill them to So our full squad is good to go. Na leoni three three one three nil. 
we are not conceding any goal. Three nil to God. Police Shabana. Po oh, police Shabana. Um, Shabana and Nairobi. Na, I think they have lost two games. Ikifatana amani draw and a loss. I think two games ikifatana after ile Pamzo kuingia. So Pamzo alikuwa police at the beginning of uh, equal last season. Na sidhani kama vitu zimechange sana but naona a draw. Shabana yeah. will draw. Before With task was, before task walikuwa me draw, walikuwa me draw versus City Stars. So they drew then lost. Then they are playing in the police now. Ile before 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 City Stars ni ile walipiga nzoia I think was it for Yes. Are you looking at Kwanza? Ya Pams. Eh. Ah, in ni draw. Draw ya mabao 2-2 two, two, ama 1-1. One, one. Shabana. Yes. Na police. Si ndio? Kwani? Wewe uko na. Wewe uko na machungu ya goro wewe. Unakuelewa? Machungu. Looking at the machungu of Greenland. Bro, question guys uh, yes. what do you do as a club uh, or as managers if a team is picking easy results then moranga sales on a pick if they lose another two matches how do you handle that team on such a form the worst part is other teams are now going up mnaanza kupitwa if if we have a scenario where Talanta win or Sofapaka win and then these guys drop or Sharks wins. Do you know if a Sharks win means Muranga Seals on a drop to relegation, they are just now minutes away from relegation spots. Mm. That's how that's how crazy this weekend is because looking at that, we move to Sunday. So this is how Sunday looks like and it will determine how the league standing is. Sofapaka, Muron Youth, Karubeki Sharks, Talanta, <laughs> these two matches. What are the impact of the results of these two matches? Tuanzenanto. Ukiangalezi teams zote ziko huko chini. Sofapaka, Moroni Youth. If Moroni Youth wins, Moroni Youth wako na how many points? Uh, so I, 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 I can show here. I can show you. Let me just uh, bring up those points. So this is the standing on the points. Moroni Youth have 20 points. Talanta have 24. So for pack of 24. Shabana. No, na laku. After you see Sipia Muranga Sales wako na 24. Yes. No, no, na sasa. If, to say me if Moroni wins. Which, ngumu sana. It will be difficult. But to kiangalia results that ni Moroni youth wamepata away from home. I think they are away from, especially in Nairobi. Machakos ni more or less Nairobi, metropolitan. So, results yenye wamepata Nairobi zimekuwa very good. I think wajapoteza game yote in Nairobi. The worst yenye wamepata ni draw. But, uko ukienda kuwao ndiyo, I think, somehow, hii season na iko poa. So, hiyo game na wana Sofapaka will win to put more pressure on Muranga Seals. Alafu wangalie... The other one, Talanta K Sharks. It will be difficult for Karibangi Sharks to win this game. Ju ukiangalia the game yenye ni Leona last weekend ya Talanta. Talanta really played well last weekend. But, but uh, uh, yes, but lost. Na ukiangalia e game yenda kuwa ngumu sana. They drew, Maybe actually, they, uh, they they drew. Maybe ukiangalia unaweza wana Sijui kama Sharks kuna resurgent uh, resurgent support Sharks but because they have they haven't lost their two games their last two games ni a draw and a win. They have lost the previous one. They drew then lost they then drew. drew. Then one. Uh, they drew in Mombasa. Alafu lost. But they lose 3-2. Two. Two? Uh, oh, yeah, they lost Alafu kuna, they, they got a win last weekend in Moroni. So, 
Tuseme tu hii picking points with these against the lower teams that will matter now. Um I see a draw. Kesharks na Atlanta na draw. Don't know why, but no na draw. So Fapaka na yeye will win against Moroni. So that means Moroni. So and if Nzoia do win today, that means Shabana will be bottom of the log. Mm -hmm. which will send shockwaves. If Sharks wins and Muranga Sales loses, it means they drop into number 15. Should Moron Youth win, then Sharks drops into the drop zone. Even a draw is not enough for them. I think these are interesting matches. So you've said Stoffer Parker win, Anto. Now yes. to the... Okay, the rest of the matches, homeboys, Tasca. So, uh, Tasca, I think um, Tasca will win. Kakamega homeboys versus uh, FC. This one is a tough one. Ulisa Makujek won a draw by game. This fixture. There, there is always a winner. So, uh, one nil win for Kakamega Homeboys. <laughs> you are home. Lamo, unajua by the way, unajua Lamo by the way ukiangalia fixture yenye Kakamega Homeboys uangalianga sana. Sijua kwa na machugu gani na FC. Ni. So they will play their all kwa hii game. Yondo mana na wape a bigger chance to win than FC. Ukiangalia, maybe inge kwa inachezwa in uh, FC ndo inge kwa the home team, inachezwa in Nairobi, unge pe the upper hand FC. But inachezwa kakamega. Kuna venye, kakamega ilikaa mikasema, how do the kings of kakamega? Yani wanataka yo bragging right, wanataka kuitoa from FC. So wanasemanga, Mostly yata shimanyulo kimuangalianga na semanga FC team ya waluya ni, ni kakamega homeboys. Iyo ndo team ya nyiko based in kakamega. So anonanga FC ni team ya Nairobi. So anonanga yo bragging rights. So iyo tu because of that iyo ndo naeza wape tu a slim chance of winning that game. One nil. Mbakaya umesikia ya maneno. Mas Tasca KCB, name is Kia. Tasca KCB, Tasca, Tasca, Tasca. Mesema Tasca. KCB wako. Tijui nini nafanyika na KCB, but. Izi ni vitu zenye tumezoea. KCB usually starts the league very well. Lafu inafuka maali. Wanaanza tuku drop points, wakiteremka, wakiteremka. Ijakua the first time. Mukiangalia the past like five, six seasons. Tuseme tu all the seasons. KCB hivi ndo wana kuanga. So, na hii nda ile time inyisha fika yenye time yao ya ku, ku drop uh, wakitoka huku jua kirudichini. So, task a win. Task a win right there. Lamu, give uh, us three your results there. Uh, mimi, mimi. <coughs> uh, game ya sofapaka, mino na sofapaka will win one in. Batoto ba mungu, pale, wakiwa na ziko. Mizi yoni venya wanaeza shindo. Of course, mie, mieno, you know, amekuwa kiwa saidia. He has pulled out so many man of the match this season. So many, by the way. I think over three. I've seen over three of them. So, I feel they will have the edge. One nil for them, or two one. Then, umawaita karioba, kario baby, kario baby sharks. Oh, Anto, by the way, pole, game yao na bandari wali draw two two. Awa kushindo, wali draw two two. Awuko bandari. Kumbuka, by the way, wali angusha msebet. So anyway, game ya Sharks na Talanta. Eh, apa, apa, apa. Eh, I, I don't see how. No, no, Sharks were first one or two one again. So the first two home teams will win. And however decisive it is in the league, in easily come on my finals. These games feel like finals. Those two games. <clears throat> uh, homeboys na FC. If they have been in fine form, Sana, by the way, I think in the last seven, they are unbeaten in the last seven fixtures, yes. And one of you, you, one of the draw, one of Nini, 
uh, games is Osaba ni draw versus Murang'a Seals. Uh, they have it is a run that has, has imekuwa na ma teams kadhaa sia tu tunasema ni teams in wakina ulinzi here and there but again it's still a very good run uh will hombo stop it i think yes but will they win in apana they will i still e but e game ni draw kidabi this will be the first draw mnasema jai kwa na draw today is the first one of course sasa when we come to taska taska will probably build up from their four nil uh trashing ya nini juzi so hakuna uh, vingine na wanatua kishinda hapa hapa so ni home teams uh, sofapaka will win their game sharks will win home boys will draw versus uh, leopards and of course tasca matano ball will prevail i hope nani atakuwa amerudi on, on form na ito aje kapaito sijui amekuwa wapi of late but nimeona kina nani akipick up the slack akina dio so Yeah. That is how I say it, bro. Good stuff, good stuff for Jamal. I think uh, for me the matches is the games is quite tight. Uh, I see a nil nil draw between Mono Moro Newt and Sofapaka. One nil slim win for Sharks versus Talanta. Because Sharks we are make in a game when they open up, they open up but now then says we are more sit a bit deep and hit on counters. They're trying to pin down the number of goals. Tasca versus KCB after KCB's last loss and Tasca's huge win. These are games that you know it's not it's not like other leagues where you find you're winning back to bang bang every weekend. Very close game. I a slim one nil win for Tasca. Uh or probably a draw for this one. I think that is it. Kakamega Homeboys versus Leopards. I want to agree with you guys. Homeboys have put together their team work was strong. So easy. I think they are getting their vectors. Their last away win to KCB was uh, very encouraging for them. They go into this match with their tails up. When you're on a good run like the Leopards are, there are two options. Either you get under pressure or you get the fans behind you. And the last time Leopards won six consecutive matches or more was in must be in 2013 that is a uh, towards the end of the season and in that in those games Alan Wanga scored in around six or seven consecutive matches i think the longest run in FC Leopards history for a player to score in consecutive matches so it's a very close game and uh, Buhungu is the historical ground for Leopards i was giving you the story about how Leopards lost uh, Uh, 6-0 to Al Ahli in uh, Egypt but in the return leg they beat Al Ahli 2-1 at Buhungu uh, but the the reason why we've not had continental matches at Buhungu is because the match Komisawa game after that brought a very negative report about that stadium and that's why we were the last after that akukua na continental matches up until when FC Leopards are hosting Fosa in 2018 So in all those years Buhungu was like banned from hosting international matches it all stems from one person writing a very negative comment remark yet initially i think arab contractors were hosted by mumias at uh, mumias complex so it was, it was strange so i think it's a it's a good match if silopads are hosting are doing their 60th anniversary kickoff saizi The mood is bright. I've heard a lot of fans are going down under. Yesterday the team traveled met with jubilation Kulechini. So the spirits are high. Uh it's up to Homeboys to spoil the party or probably to be the only advantage I think Leopards has is they've really worked on their defensive shape. They are a very tight team to beat. You will get a few chances but it's like Opio is back in goal, uh, Case is back, Meso is back. Or we know might likely start i think my dada might be on the bench i'm not i don't think koloti traveled but it's it's a team that if ombo is beat they would want to fancy and have one a laugh on this one because when it's it's a tough team currently i think the team seems to be in, in the right form but if uh, the youngster koloti will be in the lineup then it might be tears for for homeboys who who look so Homeboys have the advantage, but I don't think they're such a big team. It's a one-man show. 
making a lot of noise. The rivalry is <laughs> not sure you guys create it. I, I tell you that because I come from the region. You know, you guys read so much, you only believe what you read. It's not what exists on the ground. So it's it's actually a case of if Leopards is doing very well, there will be a lot of positive voices on the, on the road. But when things are bad, people look to connect with some team that looks to be, ah, afasali tu ato umbo isasa, ni katim katoko lakini, saizi kana perform vizuri wacha, to support, ingwe itajipanga badai. That's the message. But if you go, you'll find it's not like the stadium is split. It's just a few guys who probably are, are voices of the chair. Their chairman is more noisier than the rest of the fans. So it's a small team. I don't think you guys have created it to be such a huge team. I, sub, I think it's good to have a team like that in the region. For me, I look at it from a business perspective. When those two teams make noise, the positive is let it not die because it brings the business to the town. It makes the town vibrant soccer-wise. And if the team looks like it's doing well, it gives hope to those people in the region. Unlike other places where they don't have such teams that can create such a buzz. So for me, the buzz around the match, top-notch. In terms of which team is big and which is small, unless you... As was well said, unless we're gonna kill Pungwani, not to have any disrespect to anybody, these things are just as clear as black and white. So, Anto, you are thought of a big team. We'll need you to go and do a bit of history. Ah, Miss Jasema Kakamega Umbos is a big team. Nimesema. Uh, you said it's a big team in Kakamega. It's not. It's not a uh, big team in Kakamega. I said. I said. They want to create uh, that uh, illusion that they are the big team. Anyone that can take the bragging right from FC Leopards, from Kakam from the people of Kakamega. So, Anajiona, they are bigger in Kakamega than FC Leopards. Even don't mess them But see, they are a big team. <laughs> even even they well, are creating for themselves. Anto. Anto, so, Mbakaya, we know there are only two big teams in this country. Mimi na wewe tunajua there are only two big teams in this country. So Kakamega Homebo is takwaje bigger than FC. And there are only two big teams in this country. Yeah, the, the only problem would be if if one of those teams, there's another team, if it gets, if it works its way back into the league, it might cause a big problem. If Reunion got promoted, then it would cause a big challenge. I know to a lot of quarters. That is when we can, but you can see that these the teams that are associated with regions they bring the vibe. So, guys, final thoughts on the teams that will go down. Anto, which team is going to go down as per the log standings from number 11 to 18? Bite the bullet, give me three teams that are going down from this list. Uh, first of all, Muranga Seals, Watamaliza playoffs, Shabana will go down. Na Zoya. Interesting. Lamo, out of this list? Ah, uh, Shabana, bro. Shabana, Moroni youth. Maza wange tuna Moroni youth. Wangeza shuka marambili nge furai. Washuke, 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 washuke kwa sport ya number 18 na number 17. Ba anyway, Shabana, uh, Moroni, uh, number... Manze, apu na the other one, I honestly uh, can't make up my mind between Morana Sales and uh, and, and Zoya Sugar. But I feel it, it will be Morana Sales it, and it will be so sad if both uh, teams that were promoted, Ziki Shuka with their number of fans. But it is or it is. You're, you're, you're on the league by merit. Question, with how many points will these teams go down? With? I think uh, Unona from uh, Muranga Seals, Apo kwa playoffs, I think yes. kwa takuwa na around uh, 28 points kwa playoffs. So there are only four points out of the remaining 10 matches, 11 matches. Yes, they might win one, draw another one, yeah. laugh lose the rest. 13 matches, bro. Yes, ndio nimesema. They might, they might win one, 
draw one and lose the the rest so uh, conclusive today is 90 plus show says luera shabana luera moronyut it is nzoia and uh, muranga still battle it out for playoffs yes okay so th that means we only have one debate on the other half of the log as things stand uh we will look at the teams that are on form and those are the top eight teams on the log final standing how many points who is champion who finishes second who finishes third today's prediction number one gore will win 70 points number two tasker number three number three I think uh, Posta Nairobi City Stars in top five. So go win Tasca second. I love with the rest uh, between post uh, between Posta Nairobi City Stars. Now police might finish number as from number five six. Lamo, just the final league table. From this, if you look at the top eight teams, can can I say the can I say the league table without number one? No, you have to say all of them because but, if Raik is but anyway, it is or it is. Gore will definitely win this league. Gore, Gore might they might even uh, lose the points. The the number two, number three, all the way to number seven might catch up to them, but Gore will still push them. Yeah will still push it to the end so i feel gore will slightly edge the other teams in the league of course i see tasca having a very good resurgent or oh, police by the way so it is gore uh tasca police then city stars now feel fc my fc what number number six number six number seven they might switch it up with Kakamega Homeboys and Bandari. So one got two Tasca, three police, four city stars, five either Rangers or OFC. FC currently at number 30, was in Mbio Tashinok Fika 55, 60 points. So yeah, that is how I see it all the way to number six. So yeah, God will definitely win the league. Akuna Vingin, as you need any other. I, Teams will catch up, yes. Uh, probably Wapunguzeo number those seven points to probably two, four points. But again, Gore will still just have the experience and the players, the key, key deciding players to decide some very important games. Because are easy games in your corner. Lamo, what if what if today Gore loses to City Stars and Posta Rangers wins, Tasca wins, Police wins? Aina Shida, bro, they will they would have just chopped three points from in seven points in your lead. You know, and again, bro, to miss our bado league Jaisha. Yeah, <laughs> games to be played. So City Stars might win today. Then the next games once they could draw points. Because as we know, every team that plays Gore, they play Gore like they are playing a final. And no, I mean, and... no, uh, let's just say maybe. Coins, let's say hypothetically, City yeah. Stars go on another six match or seven match run, like they've done in the last one. And uh, go now, let's say, probably lose this one and also don't sustain another long run of wins. Assuming that police keep up this tempo, they do, and then they don't get beaten again. Maybe they drop two games, Zukumbele, Drombili. And they continue, but you know, Tasca will lose. Tasca will win at some point. The teams I think we need to be wary of near police in terms of how they will finish. They will they'll do their kick. Yes, they're ten points behind, but that is just three wins and uh, a few stumbles from God. For example, is it like initially we had said it's a runaway kind of title? Yes, but. I remember saying when teams cross to 40 points, especially team ya Kwanza, in a Kwanga, the biggest problem. Anto unakumka ni kisema. Yo team ina yes. crossing ya Kwanza 40. Unapata between 40 points and 48. 
kuna mark timing ingine na kuanga hapo i've never understood what happens in this league apart even even if you check that and beat and run your god in 2015 or was it 2016 it was also not so smooth ili fikatu hapo you are not losing but you're not winning yani unajua is do what happens when teams grow cross that boundary especially with this for me i still of course agree with you guys god have the best odds to be champions considering the way the, the table is they have they've only lost one point they've only lost one match the thing is they need to protect themselves from losing two or three matches but they have they have pro, they have like an insurance they can even lose another four matches and still be in contention that is fair to them because all they need to do is to win but then they'll want to ensure that the opponents behind them are not winning because should yeah. city stars beat in the year they get 39 uh, sorry beat to lindy stars get 39 uh, sorry city yeah. stars win to get to 40 first star rangers win against the year get uh, lindy stars get to 39 that gap gives a lot of confidence to these guys a uh, police win gets them to the seven they start to see that okay we are just two wins away from these guys now god will start looking over their shoulders i don't think omala is emotionally charged up after what happened and maybe maybe anto this could be the moment omala would say you guys screwed up my run i'm also going to screw up let's see who wins in this point and, might, and, and maybe he might just end up scoring goals for himself I know you guys lost the teamwork. Have you messed up your savior to winning? Do you think God can survive without Omar on the pitch how many games? Of course he can't survive. And, uh, and so to, many. How many but, games can but, God go without fielding Omar assuming he's not is not ready? Things are not okay. He just you just don't want him around because you feel he'll be bad energy. How many goals can how many matches can they go? and are you guaranteed of like having better results without him around but but again omala jafunga in the last like seven games so sidhani kama yes we will miss him kwa hizo games he's played, right? he's been playing but yeah, not scoring he's playing he's playing but his not movement scoring. has affected a lot of things right yes so can you do without him now, completely and say he's not for, okay we don't want him watch a capo kando we don't trust him uh for now we can't we can't go so many games without him but uh is we are overthinking miss jafikria hivyo mbali so what pap i'm for as i said i'm for 30 i'm i'm drawing the pigeon i'm i'm drawing the cat we are going to mtego ana kuwekea mtego ando azana question you know two things by the lamo God need the following players fit is on the engineer omala available post in available yes hapo na agree but uh, yes hapo na eh uh, moso hosting ukiangalia nga if hosting na yuko form team yote iko form so i think eh uh, hosting they make the team in a click and uh, kama tuko na eh tuko sawa anyone in your, in your current signings In your current signing did you factor in a situation where there is no hosting? I don't no, think we is. didn't. We didn't. So if, we didn't. And, and and I just think uh th- now this pressure will come. I I I'm, I'm, I don't I, I for me I like I would like to see a season that goes down to the wire like we had in 2012. Even last year was a down to the wire season. It just like the media hype. If you looked at it, so here mm-hmm. I need police I need this is I need it it was down to the, i think but, just college but 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 mpaka yo kisema down to, to the wire sisi tunaumia wewe unajua umi ni sisi tunaumia so me start <laughs> down to the wire we win it like five games inisha hiyo pressure hiyo stress yeah. me start for me so, for me i want teams at the top to drop points draws yeah. losses among themselves because if we can close this gap to anything like six seven points if we can see the top team we can say we've not had a bad season if we if we finish the league six points off the top i even if the team that won i think anybody will be doing an ass will be like these guys had a bad run they probably didn't finish badly 
if you look at our draws, the draws will be now the difference between winning and losing. And maybe if we if we were to, to if if Leopards was to lose a few matches, considering things, maybe they might lose another two or three matches at most, depending on a lot of factors. Lewis Band is back. Lewis Band is back. And he's going to be back in March. Now that is more depth in terms of options in defense, options in the midfield. Now you if you can have the rest of the guys fit. Then, then we, we 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 probably can finish in a respectable position. For me, the key thing is ensuring that the gap between us and God is not 20 points or as it has been 2018. That is what I want to end. At least let's close the gap with a team at the top. Who do you strengthen next season? You just to ensure that you have one position or one player who is improved, get one or two positions signed, align the squad, and you now get much stronger. But, but I think now uh, God still have the advantage in to overcome to easy match, reduce the pressure. And uh, it's it's your league to lose, Anton. I think it's your time to reign, but it's time you make the most out of it. Because if you look, if we're having teams that were near relegation, two seasons, we know we've noticed this in two or three seasons, teams that were struggling near relegation coming closer to the title. It shows something that if we are not careful in the there is no comfort in the league anymore. We leave it to Zenenda's Kienda. City Stars were going to struggle last year. Yeah, wanna chase. Our change a lot in their teams. We are Denzoya doing a similar star stunt. Post and you are gonna like nearly struggling as here. It's uh, it's chasing. And if you'll have a team that took off very badly like Leopards, finishing maybe in the top four, top five. That that is going to send a statement that wait a minute. Then there are possibilities in the league. Either you'll do badly or you'll do well. But and, I think uh, by the way, yeah, Mbakaya, uh, ule your new striker Rwandis Akoaje. Yes. By the Mulimwana, Mulimwana for the first time last weekend. Akosa. He hasn't scored a goal, so I know uh, he's still he's, playing. His play, when he runs, he's of Nyako kwa pitch. How did you see him? I think he has potential. Just that if I were to be given a chance, I would rather have a young Kenyan player doing the same thing. I want a foreigner who comes and makes an impact. Now, the key thing is he has to score against homeboys to announce himself. It's the biggest match that he can score with the biggest crowd to send a message. But I, I just think he's, uh, the nerves are off. Uh, Nimona he seems to have settled in. I think most of the things in his record, Kipanika could be off pitch. He could settle around. But I think he'll score. Maybe not 10 goals, but around 3 or 4 or 5 goals as the season ends. That could be good for him. If he can score 4 or 5 goals, not bad. Get himself in shape. And next season, because that is his probably second season, target to put in goals. But there's competition. Kuna Kinayahama Pale, Kuna Koloti, Kuna Maxwell. So it's it's just about him learning when to do. But for me, I think if Omune can score, continue the form. Somebody has to take the mantle from the other and we continue. But for him, I I saw some flashes of brilliance, movement everything but there was a bit of laxity in decision making when he can take a shot and the like i hope he i hope he just gets the right decision he gave me a boys scores uh at uh at, uh away to one of the biggest crowds another thing it's like these players who are on new signings especially goal scorers tend to score more away come on notice when they come into pressure environment than at home so maybe it could be his match but I don't remember the last time a foreign player scored for Leopards at uh, Bukhung. It's been ages. So, so, can I go fit? I think he should be fit for this match. Should be fit. But also, this, of course, selection headache for the coach. Um, Randy Bakari is available. Case is available. Ken is available. Emmanuel Luangu performed well in the last match. Uh, Mahiga passed fit after the horrible tackle from Muranga Sales. 
that guy nearly finished off the guy. Munene is fit. Uh, Were is fit. Gideon Were. I think that the team is 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 has has all the depth at the back. Uh, Pio will be back in the team. Uh, uh, Katasi performed well in the last match, and there's a lot. And going into the FKF Mozart Bet Cup, I think Leopards with the current squad are among contenders. Unless something crazy happens to them, I think we are seeing a team that could be, go as far as semis if if things are if they get themselves they are together. And I think they need to b- work on the performance of the last cup and get into the finals. So the league should just be help keep the momentum running, just to finish at least in the top three position, top four, because it's it's there for the taking if they keep the momentum. And what I know is, Leopards, this, this good run has to, to come to an end in one match. A win or a draw, a draw or a loss somewhere. But if they can sustain the momentum and go for long. Sometimes you just have to believe yourself and say, maybe in your time here too, you just keep pushing. When it, it stops, you enjoy that run and pick up from there. So if if they can believe in themselves, these games are back 13 or 7, watch out what are tamaliza. Good for them. You never know what could come out of it. And maybe it could be one of those ridiculous Cinderella stories because if they went on to win the next 13 matches, we would be having, we'll have a very different story to ending the title. That could be quite a story for us because mathematically, if they won the rest of the matches, they could be on 69 points. That could be as close as to the champions, mathematically. But I don't think that's possible. If you look at, because they still have to face teams in this list, they have police, they have Tasca. Uh, they are now facing Kakamegon boys, they have Bandarin, they have finished with City Stars, they beat them, they have poster that they need to face also. So that means they have to beat all these teams in this in this group here. And th- that would be a mark of a team that is finding confidence. It doesn't matter what position they finish. If they, they maintain the squad and have such order, then I know Anto will be saying, as we start the season, we need to be wary of this team. Because come on, if I will a season, now, Copamoja Bado, because like the danger of most of these other teams is they do that well, then they get disintegrated, especially the smaller teams. But when a goal team does so well, like he and Yemekua, I just quite disintegrated, he may Pamoja. That's you see the consistency for the last two, three seasons. If Leopards can do such a thing, work on their weaknesses, then we could be seeing a very different uh, season next year. An exciting one where it would be goal versus Leopards. Studies in major, it is a case of, you know, those teams, I think what these other teams like is when God are winning and Leopards are winning, it is cash in their pockets. Like now, if Shitoto knows he's going to make at almost half a million shillings because of Leopards' performance, that's why he's making all the noise. He knows the fans will turn up. And the rest of the teams up on Bele are looking at it. Tasca are just like smiling knowing that if Leopards do win this match, then they say win their next home match, then your match, Wakoshua, they're going to make almost a million shillings because FC Leopards fans will come. Now, it's when you decide, do you win this match? Do you draw it? What 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 result does it bring to the table? Sharks in the last match, they had almost 4,000 FC Leopards fans. That was a big boost to their coffers. He can reduce FC, FC may collect almost a million shillings. And you know, those are, that's despite there's so many things they're saying. So if you're averaging a crowd of 3,000, 4,000, and the numbers are going up, if they create that crazy run in it, Utapata Square Derby, Gora will go home smiling, now almost 10 million shillings on that particular day, study major. Even if you lose, even if God loses to FC Leopard by that day, they wouldn't care. Uh, you know, kuna, 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 we will care. We will you care. care. But you know, you know something. Do not ah, dare. Ah, you're ah, afraid. Ah, don't ah, ah, <laughs> The lens, the lens, uh, Matt, uh, 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 lenses are my fans and the lens are management and the lens are my fans. The days I've seen, the times Nini Mkopale Munangalia results, what those who are Angalia to make the Sangak? You question. You question. 
<laughs> but then it will be, I think this derby will be exciting. We hope the two teams keep making the wins. They are going to give us an exciting match. All said and done, whichever the result. Uh, yes, um, uh, I think uh, most of the teams have accepted their fate on the log. Uh, says, kucheza kama Mombasa. It's just hypothetical. Today we are being hypothetical. We have it's not anything because we've also seen if God win all their remaining matches, Pierre a very high number of points. That would be eight what? 39 points, that would put them to 87. That would be the highest number that 83. That would be the highest that we've seen around, which is an hypothetical situation. It could happen. If City Stars win all their remaining, win 39, that could be 76 or whatever. That's the highest number that I think they have ever got in their history. If Posta win the remaining Zote, we a hypothetical situation, we have a good number. So, uh, it's not a calculator only on one side, it's a calculator for all the teams. If if, uh, if, uh, if homeboys also win the remaining, they'll get to 71. If Bandari win the remaining, they'll get 73. Police work win the remaining, they'll get 73. Task work win the remaining. It's just that unfortunate these teams have to face each other along the way. So they will be winners and losers. And I think we have Godmire facing uh, City Stars now. God have already faced police. They still need to face Bandari. Badok on the homeboys. I think after after City Stars ni poster. So number one, number two, number three, to know our face to the That will be a huge that's that's some quite some mental strength there. A win over these two teams means Munapoa title mm -hmm. to direct. There is no competition because once you cross the 50 point mark, in a kwanga ni kuenda na kuenda. But any points dropped against these two games and you go back to back will now bring a lot of pressure because. That would give City Stars an opportunity to be maybe one point behind you. And maybe Posta will be two points behind you. Now that, again, damages the equation. By then, Tasca, if things are going well for them or police, they will also be just three four points behind, opening up the league to, again, another Pandora's box and giving us another run. But the team that I would want to say that has clearly been a shame and I to with is uh, KCB uh, with their lukewarm performance heading to, but if they were to get relegated again, I wouldn't be the most angry person. I would smile and uh, walk to KCB Bank. <laughs> Nemuel says police will finish fifth. I will still stick with my saying from the start of the season. Tasca will win the league. Whichever calculator I'm <laughs> So, <laughs> I this guy is saying whether we use a psyche or whichever calculator Kopale. Oh, uh, Groovy says, <laughs> Groovy says, in God Dabi, in God Dabi, 1 1 or 2 2, or Shaban will also be beaten. God will win 3 1. Omache, V Omache says, Shabana win, Bandari win, Ulinzi win. Mm. Muranga seals draw and Gore seal draw. Emmanuel Odiembo, Mbakana Lamo, Kazisafi, thanks. So, man, Emmanuel, I think we are doing very well. Groovy also says, KCB will Fukuza Ziko from Ikashuka. I think that's a discussion we can have next time uh, when we have Nini. And I think, based on the results of the weekend, we might we might bring this as a topic for kwa, kwa spaces to see how things are going. Final words, final thoughts, and to as you prepare to go to Machakos, wake up. Uh, how much are you putting on the table? Now, unto me, I'm Pesa. As you put on the table, I will be the recipient of the Mpesa. I love to share a kama ni double, ama imepunguka. Put your mouth oh, where your heart is. See, we are going to win today. Uh, kama kawaida, you know, Leo and I, we are going to win. Uh, Game yenye pia nyimu na discredit sana at Shabana cannot get a point from police. Shabana will get a point from police. Uh, FC versus Kakamega Homeboys. Uh, Kakamega Homeboys FC. 
one nil win for Kakamega Homeboys. Itakuwa straight sana if Kakamega Homeboys if Kakamega Homeboys go first. I think FC will not have the strength to come back. But waki hold on for some time, for a long time. Ndo utawana, I think FC might win it. Waki hold on. But if Kakamega Homeboys scores first, sioni kama FC will come back kwa your game. Lamo, mbaka ya meenda. Oh. Mbaka ya meenda kunyo maji. Wacha, wacha pia mini pata. <laughs> no, we, we can conclude too. Yeah, yeah. Before, before my final thoughts, of course, ni, I, I'd love if Gore lost today, but I don't see how they are losing. The other thing is, Akina Maze, uh, part of our members, Jose Nadola Pale wako, wako Pale Women's Cup, Yogemi Nakuru uh, City Queens, wana commentate, they are the commentary there, and they are doing a very amazing job. Now, when you want to space, because I am a dame, Taskia Wakona Kiswali, Gine, Ile Kiswali, Kua. It was a, a matter of time to skip as a dollar. No, Jose has been doing it for the for the the women's league. So again, big up to them. Kazi safi sana na fraya mavijana kipigashu shugli. Otherwise, uh, I ex- the other thing. Game ya agoro na shinda kunak tuingi na agoro will win sadly for us. Muyoti boys are not for you, but not for us. For you, yeah, for me, for me, for me, for me. But anyway, I believe I believe Leo Leo to Mexicaza. Hey, to look at not a briefly, but there is nothing brief about Kenyan football. <laughs> there is nothing brief about Kenyan football. In a kuwa kana ba story na imetacha deadly. But again, uh, to tapa tana Monday to one venye kumeenda. Uh, of course, share Monday call on Twitter from eight p.m. Uh, where we review the games of the weekend. Nini nini. Na tutapatana predictions zetu zisha same wa comments pia zimesomo the same. So Anto, shukran. Atutaki tukweke sana na juo kuna timi na kungoja muende machakos. Na ile, ile, ile school vani enyo. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's been real. Uh, Kwa enyo mekona sisi, thank you so much. And I am glad to be back. Tupata netena next Saturday. Uh, same time, same place. Otherwise, maze, have a good week. And, and for what wa, what wa shabana, kina amache. Omache, maze, na waombea. Amache, we, ala, na waombea. It will be so sad to see you guys drop. Otherwise. Uh, la, la, Lamo, yes. Lamo, as we finish off, uh, sorry, I got a call. Yep, uh, kikazi, kidogo. Tunenda game gani. I think today, uh, maybe I might go to police. Just to go and head on them. And maybe we can go and condone condole with the Shabana fans. Lamu, you're good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Give a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> I see Wongo by the way. I see Wongo. I to scare. Moraki to scare. We may not even get close to you. You see? I'm going to show Shabana and the Kupigo. You what? Eh. Our work, is to, our work is to our work is to either celebrate. The most important thing Lamu will be giving is a shoulder. Whether it is to cry or not to celebrate is neither here nor there. The common denominator <laughs> is the, the shoulder will be available. Yes. I love you. I guys. So let's let's catch up. So Lamu, to cut on a police uko, to uko, and to all the best in uh, in Machakos. Uh, and also all the best to city stars at the same time. Brilliant. All the best.